Hello students, in this video we will discuss about the identification of the slides of lymphatic system. You know that in this part you have the four slides in exam. First slide is the spleen, lymph, then you will have lymph node, thymus and tonsil. So we will discuss all these four slides one by one. So whenever you are having these four slides you have to keep this thing in mind that these slides are having large number of lymphocytes. So here in this slide also, you can see that this is a slide where you will find multiple dots are visible in the slide. Now these dots are nothing but these are the large number of lymphocytes. Now when you will rotate this given slide, you have to patiently see the slide under 5x first. Now in this given slide, what I am able to understand that there are presence of multiple circles are visible. Now here you can see there is a circle is present here. Now this is the circle and in this circle you will find a small opening or you can say the blood vessel. Now such type of the circle you have to identify in this slide. So if you are able to find out such multiple areas where you will have the circular areas and in this circle you will find one more small lumen then you keep this thing in mind in such cases you are dealing with a slide is known as a spleen now in the spleen slide we have the two very important part now these circles are known as white pulp and the area between the circles are known as red pulp so this area is your red pulp area while these uh, areas are your white pulp now these circular areas which are white pulp are actually known as lymphatic nodule and in these nodules what you are able to see that these nodules are having a very important structure and that is your artery. Now when you will zoom the slide what you are able to understand that this artery which is visible here in this circular area and so you can see that it is more visible now under the 10x. Now this circular area which is known as lymphatic nodule is having a very small lumen inside and this lumen is not present in the center but it is present at the periphery of this lymphatic nodule. So it is known as peripherally placed arteriole. It is known as peripherally placed arteriole. So my dear students this is a very characteristic feature of the slide of the spleen that whenever you will have the splenic slide and if you will rotate this slide you will find multiple nodules and these nodules are known as white pulp and these nodules are having the arteriole inside but in this nodule the arteriole is present in the periphery not in the center and this middle part is known as the red pulp. Apart from that in the slide you will find such kind of the bands. Now these bands are nothing but these are known as trabeculae which are actually coming from the capsule. So the slide is also having a thick capsule and the capsule is present on the outer side of the spleen and, the, and this capsule sand the trabeculae inside the gland. Clear? So what is the characteristic feature of this slide? In this slide the characteristic feature is you will find multiple dark stained areas and these multiple dark stained areas are known as lymphatic nodules and these nodules are basically known as your white pulp and these white pulps are having a arteriole and these arterioles are present on in the periphery of this given slide. Clear? So this is the first slide of your uh, lymphatic system and that is the spleen. So whenever you are having any slide, this is my sincere suggestion that you should have the patience that first you should always see the slide under the 5x and then you will go gradually from 5 to 40x. Now this is the next slide. Now this slide is again when you will see is related with the lymphatic system. Now in this slide, if you see what you will find that there is a presence of multiple again nodules. These nodules are visible under a peripherally placed capsule. So my dear students again the first thing is you have to look this slide under the low power that means 5x. 
Now we'll see this slide under the 5x. Now there is a presence of a capsule. So first let's identify the capsule. Where is the capsule? Now when you will see the slide, you will find this is the capsule. Now this capsule is having a space below this. Now where is the space? Now I am talking about this space. Now this space you can see it is visible on the periphery and this space is the characteristic feature of this slide. Now this space is known as subcapsular space or it is also known as subcapsular sinus. So this is the characteristic first feature of the slide. Second is that below the capsule you are again see these small circular areas. Now these areas are again known as lymphatic nodules. So you will find the lymphatic nodules are present below the capsule and when you will see the slide, the slide is under low, low power is showing clear cut areas. Now this is the middle area. In this middle portion you will not find any kind of such nodules and all whatever the nodules are present, they are present only in this peripheral part of the slide. So this is the cortex of this given slide and this is the center portion which is known as medulla of this slide. Now what are the uh, areas which you are able to identify now? We are able to identify the capsule, we are able to identify the subcapsular space which I told you here. Then you know that there is a presence of the cortex, there is a presence of the medulla. The cortex is showing the lymphatic nodule and medulla is not showing any lymphatic nodule. So if you will have such features, you are dealing with the slide known as lymph node. So now when you will trace the slide in other areas, you are able to find the more prominent lymphatic nodules. In this area, you can see that nodules are become more prominent. Now you will find this is the one nodule, this is the another lymphatic nodule, this is the another lymphatic nodule. Now in this these nodules you can see that there is a presence of a slightly lighter area in the center part and a darker ring. Now this slightly lighter area which is visible here in the center is known as germinal area or germinal center. So this is the one thing which you always keep in mind that whenever you are dealing with the lymph node you always find a subcapsular sinus which is visible here. You will find the lymphatic nodules on the periphery if that is known as cortex and when you will see the medulla. Now in the medulla you will have the medullary cords and these medullary cords are again made up of the or, or lymphocytes and in between you will have the blood vessels. So this area which is the center part of the slide is purely having the medullary cords and these cords are made up of lymphocytes. So this is the important thing to understand that when we are dealing with the slides of lymphatic system, you will find large number of the lymphocytes. So these slides are highly cellular and there is a presence of the lymphatic nodules. So this question may be asked in your exam that how to differentiate the spleen from this lymph node. So whenever you have this question, there is, has to be the first line that spleen is having the red pulp and white pulp while in the lymph node you don't have the red pulp and white pulp you will have the cortex and medulla. Now when you will see the slide under high power now you can very well appreciate this subcapsular space which is now is more easily visible in this given slide. Clear? So this is the area which is the characteristic feature plus at some places this capsule is giving the uh, extensions and these extensions are known as trabeculae. So you will find the trabeculates or the septas are going downward from the capsule and you will have the nodules which are lymphatic nodules present in the cortex and you will have the presence of subcapsular sinus. So dear students whenever we are dealing with uh, node lymph nodes this is the characteristic feature which you always speak first in the exam that there is a presence of the capsule, presence of the subcapsular sinus, division in the cortex and medulla. Cortex is showing the presence of lymphatic nodule and the medulla is showing the medullary cord. So in the uh, 40x you can also appreciate the presence of the subcapsular sinus. You can now appreciate the capsule also. So my dear students, this is my sincere suggestion that always try to see the slide under 5x then 
gradually move it to the 10x and most of the time the 10x is the most comfortable part for identification and sometimes if you will require then use the 40x. Now in this slide you can see that this is the space below the capsule and that is the classical feature of this slide that is the presence of subcapsular sinus. Clear? Now we will move to the third slide and that is your uh, slide of tonsil. Now when you will have the tonsil, you know that tonsil is present in the sides of your oral cavity and we know that oral cavity is lined by a mucosa which is having non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium. So my dear students, this is epithelium is a characteristic feature of this slide. So in exam, if you will find any kind of the lymphatic organ lined by the epithelium, it has to be the tonsil. Now in this slide, first you try to identify this epithelium. Now when you will see the epithelium, I am showing this epithelium under the 40x. Now you can see that this is the thick epithelium and this thick epithelium is but obviously stratified epithelium. Now the top cells you can say they are having the flat nuclei and this is the classical appearance of your non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium. Now this epithelium is visible in the oral mucosa. So when you will see the tonsil under microscope, you will find such epithelium and below the epithelium, again you will find the classical appearance of lymphatic nodule. So here you can see these dark pur purple color dots. These are nothing but these are the lymphocytes. So when you will again see the slide under the 10x. Now here you can see that there is a presence of multiple lymphatic nodules. Now where are the lymphatic nodules? Now you can see that these nodules are visible here. So this is the one nodule, this is the another nodule. So you will find that in the oral cavity, you will have the non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium and this overlying epithelium is covering the lymphatic organ. So this is the characteristic of this slide that in the whole histology, we will have only a single slide where the lymphatic organ is lined by such kind of the epithelium. So my dear students, whenever you are dealing with the slide of palatine tonsil, you have to keep this thing in mind that palatine tonsil is having the epithelium on one side and because it is a lymphatic organ, so you will find the multiple lymphatic nodules inside the tonsil. Some places are also showing a kind of depressions. Now these depressions may be visible, may not be visible. Now here, this is the one of the depression is visible and these depressions are known as crypts. What they are known as? Crypts. So crypts are also the characteristic feature of this slide. So there are two characteristics to identify the palatine tonsil. First, you have to find out that is it a lymphatic organ? Answer is yes, because there is a presence of lymphatic nodules, which are the circular areas. Second, it is a tonsil. Why? Because at one side, this is lined by the epithelium, which is a non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium. And we know that non-creatinized stratified squamous epithelium is a characteristic feature of the oral mucosa and this oral mucosa lining the medial surface of the palatine tonsils. So my dear students, whenever we are dealing with such uh, slide in your exam or whenever you are seeing these lymphatic nodules of an organ and on one side you will find an epithelium there only a one answer and that is your palatine tonsil. Now we will move to the next slide that is your thymus. You are dealing with the thymus. The first and most important thing is again you have to trace the whole slide under the 5x with patience and gradually when you will move the slide you will find that there are presence of multiple small small lobules and these lobules are divided by the septas and these septas are coming from the capsule. So in this given slide, you have to first identify the uh, system. Now again, you will find that there is a presence of multiple lobules. Now here I will show you that this is the one lobule. Clear? This is the another lobule. This is the one of the characteristic of the thymus slide that there is a presence of multiple lobule. Second thing is that in between the lobule, you are also ab able to appreciate the multiple fat cells. Clear? 
and this is a presence of the septas and we these septas are dividing this uh, gland into the lobules now when you will see the single lobule now single lobule is showing the center portion which is known as medulla and this is the peripheral part of this lobule now my dear students the important thing here is that this slide is not showing any kind of lymphatic nodule or the circular areas which we discussed in the remaining three slide but here you don't have such circular areas but what are the another important feature you will find you will find the first thing is that there are multiple septas and these septas are dividing the whole slide into the small small lobules clear then the next and important thing is you have to find out the characteristic appearance of hessel's corpuscles now the hessel's corpuscles are nothing but they uh, they appears like a concentric ring appearance so when you will zoom the slide and when you will see the slide under the 10x and then under the 40x you are able to see that lymphocytes are become more prominent now you can see these purple dots and in between the purple dots you are able to see such kind of the structure now these structures are nothing but these are the hessel's corpuscles so for the better uh, appearance of the hessel's corpuscles you always look under the 40x so now we'll move the slide under 40x now when you will see under 40x here you are able to see the char characteristic appearance of this hessel's corpuscle now when you will see the hessel corpuscles hessel corpuscles are showing the concentric ring appearance and you will find this is a dark pink color stained areas and this is your classical appearance of uh, hessel's corpuscle and all around you will find these multiple purple dots and these dots you know that these are the large number of lymphocyte so again what is the important thing to understand in this slide that slide is highly cellular the slide is divided into the Uh, small lobules the lobules are having the cortex and medulla and in the medulla when you will see carefully you will find the uh, pink color plate like areas and these smooth plate like areas are nothing but these are the hessel's corpuscles so when you will scan the slide and you will see the other areas under 40x you will find multiple or the n number of hessel's corpuscles are visible so i will move the slide to show you the other areas where you will have the hessel's corpuscles so now you can see that the hessel's corpuscles are also visible in this area so my dear students whenever you are dealing with the slide of the thymus these are the classical appearance of hessel's corpuscle now some of the students may confuse this with the appearance of glomerulus now because they think that this area is your area for the bowman's capsule but it is not like that because in the kidney slide you will have multiple ducts that is the sections of pct and dct are visible in surrounding areas here you don't have any kind of the luminal structure rather than you will see these purple dots and these purple dots are your lymphocytes so there has to be a clear cut differentiation in your mind that these are not the bowman's capsule some of the student confused second thing is that when you are scanning scanning the slide you will find that there is a presence of the lobules and lobules are not seen in the uh, your kidney slide kidney slide is having the smooth appearance uh, and there is a presence of uh, cortex and medulla where the medulla is showing the your collecting ducts which are appear as a medullary rays so in the thymus slide you should never confuse these uh, hessel's corpuscles with the bowman's capsule and it is easy to identify with the help of these characteristic feature so this is all for the session thank you